In this video, we're gonna talk about what is LIBOR. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so what is LIBOR? What is it all about? How is it calculated? And most importantly, how does it affect you? Okay, LIBOR stands for London Interbank Offered Rate. So banks get asked this theoretical question and obviously they're not asked it they know what they're being asked and the question basically says if you were to go and ask for an, um, a nominal sum of money f to borrow from your banking counterparts what rate would they charge you in other words they're basically saying um you know if you go to, if you're going to go to your banking buddies in, in another bank what they're going to charge you for borrowing a kind of reasonable amount, not a huge amount, not a small amount, it's not worth it, just a reasonable amount they expect. And 16 banks are polled in this in this, um, in this LIBOR rate, uh, for sterling anyway, and they come back with an answer and they say, okay, you know, so one says 2%, one says 3%, one says 10%, um, one says 1%, and they're all gonna have different things based on, you know, uh, their own parameters, aren't they? So the top four are taken away, the lower four are taken away and you're left with a chunk in the middle and they are, have an average price. And they will come back and let's say the average is, uh, you know, 3%. So that means that the LIBOR rate for that day is set at 3% and it's set at midday each day for London Sterling. And these banks are polled and that's exactly what happened. Now, you want to go and Google about the LIBOR scandal, you can see how potentially if they're colluding on the rate, how this could, um, this rate could effectively change. However, how does it affect you and me? This is the most important thing. Right, so let's say we're trading CFDs, okay? Let's say you're going to your broker and your broker said, okay, you can trade CFDs on margin, no problem, but we're gonna charge you a rate. We're gonna charge you LIBOR. Uh, we're gonna charge you LIBOR um, plus or minus, uh, let's say 2%, okay? Uh, on overnight charge. It's said, okay, fine, uh, that's, that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, Okay, so how does that how does it work out? So let's say we buy ten thousand pounds worth notional of a position, stock, whatever it may be. So uh, yeah, let's say ten thousand, ten thousand pounds, and it comes to an overnight holding. How do they calculate how much we're paying to hold that position overnight? So overnight, we would say ten thousand pounds. That's okay. LIBOR plus two percent. So that's five percent charge on that annually. So obviously 5% is 500 pounds, but because it's for a day, we divide that by 365, which is about uh, one pound 37. So we would pay our LIBOR rate plus 2%. We'd be paying um, 5% in the year, which is one pound 37. So for every day we hold that position, we've got to pay the broker one pound 37 for the privilege of holding that. So you can see if LIBOR suddenly spiked up dramatically and we were holding significant positions, obviously 10,000 pounds is, a, is a, a pretty small position. If you were considering that other big investments and big funds were kind of holding many, many zeros in the end of that and LIBOR spiked, this suddenly becomes significant. And even as kind of retail traders, guys, we can't ignore this number. You know, if you've got multiple positions, multiple 10,000 pound positions, multiple 100,000 pound positions, um, and you're holding these for multiple days, weeks, months, whatever it may be, you, you've got to be a bit cautious. So, uh, you know, it's not to be ignored completely. While that doesn't seem a lot, and obviously it's not a lot, um, when you have a lot of positions going on and you're holding for a lot of period of time, yeah, this number can creep up on you and you've got to be a bit cautious about that. Now, on the flip side, of course, is that um, they will, if you're holding a short position, you could potentially be paid for that position. Now, in this example, you wouldn't because it's LIBOR plus or minus 2%, so you would be paid 3% minus 2%, so effectively you would have to pay 1%. But if uh, let's say LIBOR was 1% and it was minus 2%, it would be, be minus 1%, so you'd receive 1% per annum divided by 365. So not a lot, but you know you can see potentially you get a little bit back on your short position. So anyway guys, that's LIBOR. Go and check out some kind of Google stuff if you wanna find out more about the LIBOR rigging, which is quite an interesting uh, read. Lots of cool articles on that. That's how it affects you if you're a CFD trader. So keep an eye out for that and watch out because that number can creep up. Seems quite small, but if you've got a lot of positions on, a lot of size over a lot of time, can get bigger unexpectedly and it's not something you need to ignore. All right, guys, take care. Good trading. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.